Imagine if we were dealing with like Kurt, Kurt Cobain's like shitty. Old like, man Kurt Cobain would have sucked. Just just his, just his political fucking yeah. stuff. Yeah. Doing fucking Cobain Broadway was... shows for Nevermind and shit. <laughs> he, the best thing he ever did was die. Just like, a there's suck. a reason the British office is so good. Because they tapped out real quick. Mm. Yeah. You don't want to see like season eight Kurt you, Cobain. Yeah. Ugly I just saw that uh, there, was, there were these two brothers that killed their entire families and themselves because of how bad the office was. <laughs> what? Like last week. Yeah. Did they look uh, at actually, the, I don't know. Look at the camera and smile. <laughs> yeah, it was only last week. How, how long? It was been, pretty recently. They've been saving two, it up? like depressed autistic brothers are like, dude, if we can't if we can't get our lives together in the next year, we should just kill our families and ourselves. And they were like, deal. But let's make it a month, dude. I'm not gonna fucking stick around for that long. Yeah. And then like after a month, they were just like, well, we're still fucking losers. The office was terrible. Let's. Let's end. So they're like, there must be something worth living. They watch The Office and go, this? This is the best you got? Well, they were like, they're really jammed up about how shitty it got toward the end. Oh, yeah. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever even saw all of it. Mm, I just sort of faded out. I don't think I did. Either. Michael Scott comes in and kills everybody. I don't finish almost any TV show. No. That's crazy. I'm afraid of killing my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm certain that that was a real news story, not something I made up. Did you find out the story Tim was talking about? Yeah. I sent it to her. Oh, okay. What is what? <laughs> the sitar version of the office thing? Ding. Oh, these are the good. Bing, 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 bing. The Indian version of the office is just a call center where there's no jokes whatsoever. Yeah, they get all the work that the office out. <laughs> <laughs> there's no pranks. There's no office love. <laughs> the boss. It's the boffus. <laughs> Jim's like, I said, we'd like to see her bobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Pam slept with two different people at the office so we have stoned her to death yeah, yeah. I'm sorry he, I, he throws the rock and then looks at the camera yeah. I'm sorry I was late there was a rape on the bus <laughs> Dwight throws acid in Angela's face <laughs> Creed's still a rapist. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, fuck. All right, yeah. Well, can you bring that back up? Kevin spills a pot of curry. Disturbing yeah. information is... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Disturbing information is emerging surrounding two Texas brothers accused of fatally shooting their entire family before turning their guns on themselves. Damn. For those listening, yes, there's two Indian guys. Including a suicide oh, note that bizarrely man. referenced the popular NBC, The Office... The rambling note originally posted on 19-year-old Farhan Tawid's Instagram account went on for 12 pages and chillingly detailed how easy it was for him and his 21-year-old brother, Tanvir, to purchase guns. Pause it. I don't like that their names are, I mean... Tawid and Tanvir? Oh, I was going to say, I mean, if I was if I was drunk, I might say something that sounded like Towhead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tawid. Tow, Tawid. That was his nickname? Yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a Texas accent. Dude, I when I worked at a call Fuck center... A uh, I would get all these like wild names that I couldn't pronounce, so I would always just kind of try three or four different versions of it and apologize. Just yeah. mumble through them. And yeah, it was funny. a carpet store, definitely owned by Middle Eastern dudes. And I guess the guy's name was Camille. K-A-M-I-L. Aww. Guess what you don't say. I'm not going camel first. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Called up. I went, hi, I'm looking for a cake. A cake. Camel? Cam- camel? Oh, boy. Jockey? Sorry, it just <laughs> might like read, read that right. It just looks like you retain a lot of water. It has nothing to do with yeah. your ethnicity. <laughs> camel for care? Uh, camel for care. <laughs> and dude, the guy literally went, It is not pronounced camel. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he didn't buy what I was selling, by the way. <laughs> that, that, that sale did not go. All right, bring it back up. Don't, you don't have to play it. Here, Rainy. <laughs> you be uh, you be far on. Uh, all my brother had to do was to go to the gun shop. Well, he was he fucking was he Sa- te- Samuel L. Jackson? Was he Texas or is he? I mean, no. do you think he's fully acclimated? Is that where you're going? I, I think he's trying. Okay, say something about winning a gun for home defense. <laughs> Send some forms. He made this guy so cool. It's like he's on a save the day. And that was it. It sounds like Clint and Eastwood. It's like Clint <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, give me diarrhea. <laughs> Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Are you feeling lucky today, sir? 
<laughs> did I fire the one shot or did I fire the more shots? And... <laughs> Get out of my diarrhea river. <laughs> there was a question asking if you had any. Yes, I could certainly help you with making my day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Buy my deli. <laughs> but get this. He lied. There was a question asking if he had any mental illnesses, but get this. He lied. Oh, so these guys were real cunts about it. <laughs> Keep it going. You go, look at him. Look, he's talking about his brother right now. He's like, look, he just lied. He said. He literally just said no. They didn't ask for proof or if he was taking any medication. He was. <laughs> Thanks you. for making. Come on, thank you very stinkers. much for making the pro- <laughs> process so easy. Oh my god! Dude. <laughs> the, the shots at the office. <laughs> the team then strangely took a shot at Steve Carell's hit show, The Office, revealing that he and his brother stopped watching it the day they thought of the murder suicide. That's so funny. What episode are they in with? Go. We just got it. I think they finished it. They finished it? They got to the finale. They were like, we have to kill our family. Can you imagine killing your whole family and then Netflix is just, are you still watching? <laughs> it should have ended when Michael left because eventually it went wow, wow, wow. People say the finale makes up for it, which is a complete lie. Sure, it was cute, but it doesn't justify the last few <laughs> shitty seasons we had to deal with. Wow. We kept watching until February 21st, 2021. On their Netflix, it says, are you still shooting? <laughs> Will Farrell has blood on his hands. <laughs> oh, man. That's the day my older brother came into my room with a proposition. If we can't fix everything in a year, we'll kill ourselves wow. and our family. Yeah, all right, hear wow. me out. Hear me out. This is going to sound crazy, but I've been thinking about it. Let's murder suicide. The bloodbath left both brothers who admitted to battling depression dead, along with their parents, sister, and grandmother. Oh, it was a one bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> They put a bump stock on a sandal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, well, All right. Wow. I never realized how much fun Indian murder could be. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that was a treat. A little spicy, but. Whoa. 